So what's up people and welcome to part 6 in our series regarding the possible contents that may come out in potential future sequels for the movie franchise Elite Battle Angel. And if you recall in part 5 we talked about the Badlands and the possibilities of whether they will be removing it. And so for this part I would like to follow up on that last discussion and talk about the last part of the movie. If it's going to be a trilogy. So with regards to the last part of the movie trilogy, I wanted to ask if they do keep it a trilogy, do you feel that they will choose the ending that came out in the original series of Battle Angel Alita and not use any of the content that comes out in Battle Angel Alita Last Order. And so yeah, uh, I know I mentioned a little bit about this in my last video and I did mention that I felt that this was going to be the case and I still feel that way. However, I wanted to bring it up again because I wanted to go into this in greater detail and to ask many of you experts who have uh, read the comic for both the original series and possibly Last Order, how you felt about this. So as always, before I begin, I would like to give my standard default spoiler alert. Uh, as you can imagine, since we'll be discussing the possibilities of how this movie trilogy may end, as well as go into the ending of the original comic, and possibly some information with regards to the beginning of Last Order. If you have not read the comic at least until the ending of the original comic series, then I would suggest that you may want to turn off this video if you don't want to be spoiled by that information that may potentially come up in future movies. Now with regards to Last Order, if you've read the original comic but haven't read Last Order yet, I probably won't go into too much detail with regards to Last Order, so I think it will be okay even if you haven't read Last Order. But in any case, uh, I do want to give that uh, warning with regards to the information that I'll bring up with regards to the original comic. Okay, so that's my spoiler alert, and as always, please watch at your discretion. Okay, so the ending of the comic. So when I mention the ending of the comic, I'm talking about the arc which I call the Zalem arc. And it is the final arc of the original comic series, and as my description implies, it takes place up in Zalem. And of course, this makes sense that this will be the ending of the movie series if it remains a trilogy. Mostly because they need to have some ending for these comic series. And uh, this is the way the comic ends. So if you want to be faithful to the comic, then this will be uh, one possibility. And of course, since the first movie spent so much time focusing on Alita eventually going to Zalem or wanting to go to Zalem, that this will be the most appropriate way to end the movie. Now, of course, the dilemma comes up because of Last Order. And I think most of you already know about this, but of course, Last Order, the beginning of Last Order, completely retcons that particular Zalem arc and completely rewrites it into the beginning of Last Order. And so at this current moment, that particular ending is considered a non-canon ending for the comic series. However, I do still feel that this may be the most appropriate ending for the movie series, especially if it remains a trilogy. And the reason I mention, or the reason that I mentioned in my previous uh, video was of course the massive length of Last Order that would become a problem if they wanted to complete this thing in three movies. You know, Last Order is a huge comic series, almost uh, twice as long as the original comic series. So by opening up Last Order, you would open up so much more plot that uh, it would be extremely difficult to figure out how to close this. 
So my discussion was that although the original ending is not considered canon anymore, to fit into the trilogy, you know, size, I mentioned in my last video that this may be the most appropriate thing. However, thinking about this in greater detail, I now feel that there are indicators from the original movie that indicate that they will be going with the original comic ending rather than to go to anything in Last Order. And so I wanted to discuss a little bit of them here and see how you felt about it. Now the biggest indicator that I see is that Alita is from the United Republic of Mars. Now I mentioned this a little bit in my Mars video. You know how I talked about in the story, the comic story, Mars is uh, separated into multiple governments of which the Mars Kingdom Parliament is the largest one or the most prominent one. And of course Grunthal, which is the headquarters of the Panzerkunst Academy, is an independent uh, for higher mercenary team that's not really associated with any government. However, of course, in the movie, Alita seems to be associated with the United Republic of Mars. And so I brought that up as a question of how they were going to incorporate that into the comic story if the comic story is talking about a different kind of format for Mars. But of course, when I was talking about that, I was thinking about the storyline coming from Last Order. Because of course the Last Order storyline is now considered canon and not the original ending. But if we think about the original ending, that information with regards to Alita being from the United Republic of Mars may be okay. Now if you recall, and this is something that I didn't realize until recently, Mostly because I was probably trying to meld some of the information from the original last ending to what I saw in the last order. Is that the attack on the space elevator by Mars is from the original ending and is not from last order. So when the original ending got retconned, that invasion to the space elevator also got retconned. And I completely forgot about that, and I thought that that was part of the original ca or the canon story now. And it was also part of something that I was a little bit confused about with regards to that raid on the space elevator and Operation Malwolf. And there seemed to always be this overlap. And now I finally realized, yes, the space elevator raid was from the original ending that got retconned and is not considered canon anymore. And that got replaced by Operation Malwolf. And the reason I bring this up is, of course, that Raid on the Space Elevator is a very short scene in the ending of the original series. And during that time, of course, there is no discussion with regards to the Panzerkunst Academy, Grunthal, or any of that. It's so short, they really can't go into any of that discussion. However, you see large Martian ships, you know, invading Earth and talking about the raid to the space elevator. Now, if you recall in the uh, ending of the comic, that raid was done to plant nuclear devices to destroy that entire orbital ring. And I'm not sure if that's how it's going to be in the movie. However, the fact that they did use the raid on the space elevator rather than Operation Malwolf may indicate that, once again, they are going with the original ending rather than anything from Last Order. And to some extent, that might be better for a mainstream movie audience because if they were to go with Operation Malwolf and Alita being the key instigator of that operation, people may get so kind of discouraged from the shock value of that operation that they may not like Alita that much after realizing what she did. That operation was such a hideous operation that I know some of the readers of the comics also felt that they could not 
relate to Lita anymore because she actually actively agreed to do that operation that resulted in such a major catastrophe to the human race. And so the raid on the space elevator, as violent as it is, is less of a moral issue than the Operation Malwolf. And because of that, maybe that might be a better choice. Now, the other scene that I remember from the movie that indicates that they'll be going with the original ending rather than Last Order is their battle on the moon. And of course, in the comic, there was never a battle on the moon, or at least a scene of a battle on the moon. However, if you go to the ending of the original series, you notice that uh, Alita's partner during the raid, this gentleman named Beltram, was talking about his mission in the battle on the moon, was to raid a specific building and destroy it completely. And it was only later, after he destroyed it, that he found out that it was an orphanage and he just killed hundreds of young children. And of course, he got mortally wounded from that and he felt that, you know, it was a complete waste of training for his Panzerkunst capabilities just to kill little children in the very end and get mortally wounded. He wanted to do something good with his capabilities and he wanted to work with Alita and go to greatness with her and he felt really bad about this and he was about to express his love to Alita when Alita stabbed Beltram right in the face and immediately killed him and she said she was disappointed in him for his cowardice and his softness. All that was important was the mission and to follow it completely. Yeah. Yeah, Lita was a pretty ruthless soldier in her previous life, that's for sure. Whether you took it from Last Order with Operation Malwolf or you saw her in this particular scene with the space elevator, which is supposed to be a less hideous and less morally corrupt scene, and yet you see her killing her own partner and friend, you know, just because he was mortally wounded and became dead weight to the mission. Anyway, but again, since he did mention the moon and since they did show the moon, this again indicates that they will be going with the original ending because, of course, the space elevator scene was in the original ending. And so if that's the case, then I would expect that eventually when Alita does get to Zalem, uh, she will meet Nova and basically get the Imaginos 1.0 body rather than the 2.0 body which actually is a much more powerful body, um, basically because of the accelerated thought capabilities that 1.0 can provide. And it was so powerful that it almost felt OP, but maybe um, people will like that for her really powerful capabilities. But in any case, yeah, I think that they will go more with the final ending in the original series but to be honest they don't completely have to go with that i got a feeling like uh, just with everything else you know they may change it in their own way and one of the ways i feel that they may change it is with nova yeah you know in this movie they're focusing on nova as being a lot more evil bad guy sort of character than you saw in the comic series. Yeah, in the comic series, he was completely, you know, completely spaced out. But he didn't feel like this dictator wanting to take over the world sort of being. He just had crazy, he was just a crazy whacked out person in, uh, in the comic. But in this situation, it almost feels like he has this goal of wanting to take over the world and everything else, you know? You know, Pinky, the brain from Pinky and the Brain, if you want to think about it that way. And if that's the case, 
then maybe, you know, Nova will be the one that's in control of everything up in Zalem and potentially also in the other uh, city. You know, Jeru, if you want to call it that way, or Kathirs or Katheris, if you want to call it that way. Either way, you know what I'm talking about. Now, of course, in the comic, uh, Nova was a separate entity to the Melchizedek, who was basically the major controlling entity in the comic. And Nova's case being, again, the anarchist was somewhat uh, in battle with against the Melchizedek as well. But in this case, maybe Nova can, will be the controller of the Melchizedek. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong, but uh, that's how I remember it is Melchizedek. If it's wrong, I apologize for that. But in any case, uh, he will be the one in control of that super biocomputer. And maybe he will be building it and collecting all these brains himself so that he could feed it to eventually control the universe as, you know, the brain and Pinky and the brain. But yeah, I mean, if that's the case, then I could see why they're kind of setting him up as this evil entity guy. Just like the brain in the pinky and the brain. I don't know why I keep on bringing that uh, cartoon up, but that's the one that always comes up in my mind at this time. Anyway, uh, but that may be one possibility. Now, the other possibility, of course, is that they go closer with the comic and have a more Matrix style ending, you know, where the Malchizedek has its own, you know, persona, its own will, and Nova realizes that eventually that might potentially destroy the life that's remaining on earth and so he of course brings Alita up so that she could assist him in solving that problem which of course creates the ending of Battle Angel Alita so I don't know yeah I mean it could go either way but my feeling is is considering the sheer length of Last Order, and considering how this retconned ending conveniently is there to shorten the ending, that they will go with the original ending, or the retconned ending from the original series. Now, of course, that will be sad because there are a lot of cool things that come out in Last Order, which will be missed if they go that way. On the other hand, at least for the things that were in the beginning of Last Order and some of the cool scenes from there, they could still incorporate that into the very ending and meld it with the original ending of the comic. Anyway, that is my feeling with regards to one possibility on how they could end this. And if that's the case, I could understand why they made Alita a member of the United Republic of Mars rather than something like Grunthal. I could understand why, you know, they're talking only about the United Republic of Mars rather than to go into the various kingdoms or the governments that are associated with that in Last Order's uh, canon story. And so, yeah, there's a lot of things that indicate that they may be going to that direction. But anyway, that's my thoughts on this. What do you think about this? How do you feel that they may continue on with the story? And do you feel that they're going towards this uh, shorter ending that's non-canon now in the comic, but may be convenient in the movie? And the final question is, of course, if they decide that they want to go towards Last Order, is there a way that they could meld the original ending to the beginning of Last Order so that it doesn't end at that point but continue on to the big major chapters that come out in Last Order. Anyway, I would like to hear how you feel about this and uh, get your opinion on how things may move forward. Maybe, again, they're making sure that they have an ending in case they need to stop at a trilogy but if it becomes extremely popular, then maybe they'll have an option of moving into Last Order by modifying that ending to be more appropriate to the story of Last Order. 
Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll continue to make more Lita Battle Angel videos in the future. I hope you join us at that time. And until the next video, thank you very much. Happy anime watching. Happy movie watching. Happy comic reading. And as always, giant nice day everyone.